at sinasabi ko ng Diyos ay God loves you and it is for nothing. Amen. And God wants you all to be instilled in your mind and soul. Gusto dyan ng Diyos na, ma- na tumiko sa inyong kabutubutuhan in your very bones. You know what? If you're able to conceive If you're able to understand and comprehend the very love of God, kung mauunawaan lamang natin, that's all we need. At iyon ang kagalingan, mga kapatid. Magaling na kayong lahat. Amen. Hindi matatagal sisikat ng araw dahil sa inyong pananampalatang. God sees you all. You know, when I look at your eyes, when I look at your face, you know, as a priest, and I try to think and comprehend, ano kaya ang nasa puso ng bawat isa ng dito mo? You know what? I cannot penetrate to what is in him. Hindi ko maunawaan. But you know what? There is one thing I'm gonna tell you today. God knows what is in your heart. God knows the faith that is in you. God knows the love that is in you. And for those who are sick, God knows the hopelessness that is in you. Alam ng Diyos ang takot ng inyong puso. Alam ng Diyos na kayo nawawala ng pag-asa. Alam ng Diyos na kayo nanginina. And today, through the celebration, He will give you strength. He will give you love. Hihipuin ka yung lahat. And He Himself sacrificed at this very celebration. Kaya po, ang ating sacrificio ay walang kwenta. Kanina, this early morning, I arrived. Ang sabi ko po doon, ang sabi ko ng driver, si Father Suarez ang saay. Ang sabi ko ng driver, wala na pong pupuntuhan ang gift. Maglakad na po si Father Suarez. Ay sinaglakad din ako. Nakalangan nyo, kailangan na lakad. Ako rin. And I'm very happy. So nagkakain sa tayo. We all walk to God. Amen. And God knows that. We walk with Him and He walks with us. Lumakad siya kasama natin. Kaya naman, ang mga naglakad, ang mga naglakad, kayo ay nakatanggap na ng bihaya. Amen! What is the place? Alam mo, ang bihaya ang natanggap niyo kanina is that Jesus walks with you. Amen! Jesus walks with you and not only that Jesus walks you coming here, He's also walking with you going home. And when Jesus is with you and He's bringing, and you're bringing Him in your very home, sinasabi ko sa inyo, ang inyong mga tahanan niyan will never be the same. Hindi na po magiging katulad ng dati ang inyong mga tahanan. Your house now will will be the house of God because you're bringing God with all of you. Dadaladalahin ninyo ang grasya na pagkapunta ninyo dito sa Monte Maria. Amen. You know, seeing you all, seeing all your faces and expressions and the contour of your face. I can see the hope. At yan din po ang nakikita ng Diyos sa inyo. Kitang-kita ng Diyos. What God is seeing in you is there is hope. May pag-asa ang buhay. Because you're able to climb to this mountain, finding for hope, seeking for hope and strength, at kayo na mismo, ang pinagdagaling niya, niya. The mere fact that you're able to come and stand in here 
the very mere fact that you are standing celebrating the Mass with us, ang Diyos ay umaansa sa inyo. Kaya mga kapatid, huwag naman kayong mawawala ng pag-asa sa inyong mga sarili. You will be the source of the hope and strength to each and everyone. Yung mga kamag-anak niyong may karamdaman kayong pag-asa. Yung mga kamag-anak niyong nawawala na ng pag-asa, kayo ang pag-asa. At kayo mismo ay pag-asa sa inyong mga sarili because God hopes in you. Purihin ang Diyos. Alam ko kayo ba ang ibig sabihin that ng how God had hope in us. Tuwi pong umaga, nakakayo ay gigising ng umaga. Every morning that we got up, and we have light, that means God is hoping that something good is, come out, is coming out from us. Tayo na po ang pagkagalingan ng kabutihan. God gave us everything. Magiging collaborator po tayo. At sa araw na ito, ang magpapabanal sa lugar na ito at kayo ay hinirang ng Diyos upang maging parte ng kasaysayan. You are now part of the history of Monte Maria. Pag-ibig ang Diyos. Kaya sa sandali nito, at this very moment, I will do a healing prayer. Ilagay nyo ang kanan ninyong kamay sa parte ng inyong katawan na may sakit. And close your eyes and I will do a healing prayer. Ngayon pa lang, marami ng pagagalingin ng Diyos. Ngayon pa lang, marami na siyang hihipuin. God is going to touch your eyes, your head, your ears. Lord and loving God, send your spirit upon this place, the healing spirit of your only son, Jesus. Touch them one by one from head to toe. Napakarami dito may sakit. May diabetes. Lord God, right now, touch them. There are lots of people here, Lord, may cancer. At this very moment, remove all the cancer cells all over the body. Hipuin mo sila mula ulo hanggang paa. And higit sa lahat, Lord God, at this very moment, let them feel your love. At tanggalin nila sa kanilang puso ang galit, kawala ng pag-asa, paghihilalaki, resentment, malas, at bigyan mo sila, Panginoon, ng bagong isip at puso. Gawin mo silang bagong nilalang mula ulo hanggang paa. Cannot walk. Na strong. May high blood. Lord God, at this very moment, touch them. One by one and heal them. Turuan mo rin makapagpatawad ang mga tao may galit sa puso at hindi makapagpatawad. Lord, give them a chance to be a better person as we ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among you, and blessed is the fruit of the Holy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now that we are on earth. Amen. And Lord God, Hinihiling namin sa iyo, ask and beg of you to please help and heal this nation. Magkaroon sana ng peace and justice ang bansa ito. For we ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Malakpakan natin.